Hi, my name is Austin Davidson, and I'm an automation specialist with McNaughton McKay. In this video, you're going to learn how to assign an IP address to your Compact Logics PLC through the BootP utility. The first thing you'll want to do is make sure your PLC and computer are connected through an Ethernet cable. Next, go to Start, Rockwell Software, and open the BootP tool. The first time you open this tool, it should prompt you to input the network settings. Typically, the subnet mask should read 255.255.255.0. Newer versions of the BootP tool may require you to assign a gateway or a secondary DNS. Since I will be using the standard 192.168.1 subnet, I will assign the gateway and secondary DNS to this subnet as well. Once the network settings have been saved, you should begin to receive BootP requests from the PLC. Note, this may take a moment. You can see the first request I have received here. Notice that the MAC address in the request should match the MAC address on your physical PLC hardware. Right-click on the request and select Add Relation. Here you will again see the MAC address of the PLC. Below you will input the IP address for the PLC. For this example, I will use 192.168.1.10. Select OK and you will see the relationship update under Interrelations. By default, the PLC will attempt to receive a new IP address through the boot P after power is cycled. To prevent this and keep a static IP address, simply select the relation and click Disable Boot P. Now, we can open the command prompt and attempt to ping the new IP address of the PLC, and you will see that we get a reply. Alternatively, we can open RS links and see here the connection to the PLC has been updated, and I'm able to connect to the compact logics that I just added. For additional questions, or for more videos like this, please give us a call or visit our website.